Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 17th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Libra, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you this week. I'm just going to pull just uh, like a regular spread like I normally do, and it's just going to represent your current energies that you're dealing with this week or will be dealing with. And then we're going to clarify at the end with the after tarot here. And we're going to see what's coming in for you almost in the future. And uh, that's how we're going to do it, Libra. Uh, this deck, by the way, people keep asking about this deck. It's the Coffee Cup Oracle um, by Amira. So definitely an awesome deck. Uh, but let's see here. Libra, this is this here, also people ask about, this is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And it's another uh, awesome deck, probably my favorite right now. But let's see what we have for you. Uh, you start off with this adventure card. Pretty crazy because, um, you know, a lot of this, like, adventure energy has been coming up for everyone. Uh, I would say that this adventure could be literal. You could be traveling or moving or something. But it could also be figurative. You could be, like, learning something new. Uh, you could be studying, uh, getting a certification. Like, all those things are uh, adventures. Even new love, <laughs> you know, can be an adventure. And you start off with the lovers. So it uh, definitely could be a new love adventure. You have the Lovers, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Look at this. You you have, I kind of don't like this, but I also do like this right here going this way. You have the Three of Swords, but you go Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're heading towards your Ten of Pentacles, but something needs to be healed. And we're going to look into that uh, in just a minute. But you start off with the Lovers here. I, I kind of do feel that there could be new love coming in for you. Uh, you have a fire sign showing up at the end, so it definitely could be a fire sign uh, coming in for you. And they're showing up in a pretty good position. They're showing up as the king of wands, so it doesn't matter what gender you're interested in. It could just be someone who is kind of like the highest vibration version of whatever sign uh, you're looking for, or whatever sign this is, is kind of like what I'm getting here. I just feel like it's someone very independent, but in a good way, like not like they just want to be alone all the time. I feel like they want to spend time with you, but just they kind of have their own thing going on. And, you know, again, I think that's a good thing to, you know, look for in a person. You have the Nine of Cups here as well. So definitely some sort of wish or a dream coming in for you here. It's like you're wishing for something. You're hoping for something. And uh, I feel like you're working towards it. The only weird thing here, Libra, and we're going to have to look into this, obviously, with a clarification, is you go Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, pretty good. And then five of pentacles. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of get the feeling that something is missing from your life here. Maybe things are actually going really well, but, you know, maybe love is missing. Or maybe you have love and money, but maybe having a family is missing. You know, there just seems to be a missing piece of the puzzle uh, in this reading. And I kind of feel like part of your answer is this six of swords. Six of swords says you are moving to calmer shores, but it's also a card of, um, you know, going through a rite of passage. It can represent... Go, you know, they're still in the choppy waters. So basically, it can represent the fact that you are in choppy waters or you have been in choppy waters and you need to continue to move forward through choppy waters. So you're kind of like, again, going through a rite of passage to get something that you truly want. But um, let's just, let's see where this is going here, Libra. Uh, let's see. With the lovers, you have the four of wands. Are you kidding? So definitely could be marriage if you're looking for love. I have Taurus popping into my head as well. Again, you know, take it how it resonates. It doesn't have to be a Taurus, but it is popping into my head. Uh, for others, I feel that you're completing something. Again, the four of wands to me is a card of a finish line. You can see it kind of looks like a finish line up here. And it's also a portal card. You have to go through the center here to have the celebration that you're about to have. So I feel like some of you are kind of wrapping things up or you're completing something in your life. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Hermit. Um, <laughs> I feel like you need to get out of Hermit mode for sure if you are in Hermit mode. This is another card of a Rite of Passage. It, he has climbed to the top of a mountain and he's maybe gone through a dark night of the soul on the more extreme end of the scale. But, you know, he's definitely walked through some darkness and found some inner, some inner insights, you know, some inner knowledge. And what I would say here is I feel like you've been through a rite of passage, or you're about to complete a rite of passage, it's almost like this is saying, don't turn around now, especially, you know, sometimes I think we can get to a part in our life where we feel like we're learning a lot of lessons, right? And that's what this almost is saying to me is like, maybe you maybe you feel like the universe is almost punishing you. But I don't think that's true. Number one, number two, I feel like you're being led to 10 of Pentacles, everything you want. And I feel this is saying, keep going, you're almost there. 
with these six of swords, you have the ten of swords. Um, you know, some of you could be experiencing some sort of personal loss. Uh, so, you know, that it, this could be grief, that um, three of swords that's showing up here. Ten of pentacles could be an inheritance as well. So kind of like, again, going in this direction, there could be a personal loss. You could be receiving an inheritance. Uh, again, I don't predict death or anything like that. To me, that's against uh, tarot ethics in the first place. So, but again, so, and I would say you have the death card here. You would, this would have already happened. So again, you could just, you know, this part of the reading could be basically saying that you're going through the healing process. I do feel that. For some of you. Uh, next, you have this insights card. So I feel that you are gaining a lot of um, insight. So I think you're gaining a lot of insight as to like why you had to go through the things that you've been through. You can even see it kind of looks like the, you know, it, it has like ripply water inside this cup that this crow is sitting on, almost like the six of cups. So that makes sense. Uh, you have the death card, the ten of pentacles, and the seven of wands here. The death card, I feel is saying that you're actually going through a major transformation. We see a lot of transformation here. And with that eight of pentacles, I feel it's saying at the end, which I'll show you in a minute, I feel like that's saying that you need to keep the momentum moving forward. I feel like you need to kind of, you know, I almost feel like you need to keep working towards the things that you're working on here. And even with this 10 of pentacles, you know, I love the 10 of pentacles, of course, it's a great card. And I do feel for some of you, it could be an inheritance, but um, it's funny that you end with the convention card and the innovation card, two totally opposite energies. <laughs> convention is the way things have always been done. Innovation is obviously like doing things in it, th ways they've never been done. And the Ten of Pentacles can represent, you know, there's kind of like a hidden meaning to the Ten of Pentacles. It can represent hidden or secret knowledge or information coming to you from an unlikely source. So there, you know, there's the traditional way to read it. And um, there's, I, well, actually it is a traditional way to read it as well to say that this man here represents a beggar. He can represent a person who has nothing to give, but he's coming, the story is, is that he's coming and bringing this family a gift. And it kind of represents, you know, getting something from something that you don't think could benefit you or, you know, getting something from an unlikely source, right? What the hell does that mean? It means pay attention. It means that if you're trying to do anything, start a business, uh, whatever, there could be some insights. You have that insight card in something that doesn't really add up or doesn't make sense. It's like, it reminds me like one time I was watching a movie and I was, I was struggling in um, one, another business I had and uh, the movie kind of gave me some, it just gave me some insights. It gave me some ideas of like what I could do. It's like I was making the connection in my brain, right? And that's what I always say with the Ten of Pentacles. You never know. You could be watching a movie. You could be watching a YouTube video. You could be reading a book. You could be doing anything, but maybe it's not directly connected to the area of your life that you're looking for solutions in. But, you know, if you kind of put the energy out there and you start thinking about it, uh, you might make a connection. So that could lead to Ten of Pentacles. Like Ten of Pentacles is success, abundance, um, but it also it can just represent stability. So, you know, I feel some of you could be doing that. You have the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands is a card of your beliefs. It kind of represents, it you know, basically says when you know that you know that something is for you, that it's for you. So it says you have to believe something so deeply down in your bones that you can have it. And when you believe something that deeply, then you will have it, <laughs> whatever it is, whether it's like, you know, love, business, money, spirituality, or otherwise. So that's kind of like what I feel there. But uh, let's see here, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you. Uh, with the death card, you have the star. Love it. Definitely healing. Uh, so I feel like you're going through a healing period. I also feel like you're seeing what's possible. I, I, I think this is true for pretty much everyone because, you know, as I've been saying, we're entering into the age of Aquarius. I feel that the, that the age of Aquarius wants everyone to be their own little star, as I've been saying. And so I feel like there's a lot of attention for you. But um, I also feel like there are things that you're seeing that are possible for you to do, like businesses, going back to school, whatever, whatever goal it is that you want to achieve, I would be doing it. With the Ten of Pentacles, I told you, Three of Swords, and it's like you're healing from this. This this Three of Swords in the After Tarot, it is like healed. So, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like you could be healing from a loss that you have experienced. And again, it definitely looks like things are getting much better uh, based off the end of the reading. With the Seven of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups. If you want love, I would definitely open up to it. Uh, Seven of Wands can be like a little bit of a closed off energy. It can say that you're not fully open to love or that you should be open to love or <laughs> that you need to be open to love or whatever. So again, I, like don't be afraid to open up here is what I'm trying to spit out with that uh, Ace of Cups energy. But that's that. I definitely feel love offer coming in for you. 
Uh, next, you have this snake card. It says desire and attraction on it. So again, I feel there could be someone that you're very attracted to, or you know, you're very attracted to them. They're very attracted to you, both ways. Uh, King of Wands person, probably someone very bold, assertive, uh, successful, hardworking. You know, that would be the highest vibration form of that person. If you're not looking for love, I feel like it's a great time to manifest and. You know, again, uh, following your desires <laughs> is probably the best way to manifest things in your life. You have the Three of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hangman here. Uh, again, I feel like you're healing from some sort of Three of Swords energy, some sort of, you know, breakdown, breakup, separation, loss type of deal here. <laughs> so that's what I get here. I really feel like it's not worth mentioning very much because it's like, yeah, you've experienced it, and I'm not discounting your experiences, but... Um, I feel like you're you're healed. And look, it's like these two so these two hearts look very similar uh in this deck here, you know? And it's like you're being given a new heart or but this could be like a new person if you've been through a heartbreak. And and, and again, if this is some other type of loss, I feel like you're healing. Uh you have the 9 of pentacles here. I feel like you want to be independent. Uh the funny thing is if you're attracting a person, I feel like they're very independent. I, I feel like they don't need much. Like very low maintenance <laughs> that's that's also like the vibe that i'm getting here i feel and i mean that in the best way possible i i, I think that they can you know they're perfectly happy on their own which again as i always say that's like the best person to be with someone who is healed and happy on their own someone who doesn't need anything and that's kind of what i'm getting here i would also pay very close attention to your environment there's a snail uh right above my finger here and that snail you know snails wear their homes on their back and the Nine of Pentacles can represent your environment. It can say, are there changes that you can make in your environment? I feel like I said this to you last week. I feel like deja vu as I'm saying this. So I probably said this to you last week. Obviously, it's important. It keeps popping into my head for you. So it's like, are there changes you can make that will improve your life in your like the, the area around you, right? Uh, you also have the Hangman. A lot of hangman energy coming up this week. So some of you could just be having like sudden insights or, you know, I, I actually feel the hangman is good this week. I feel like the hangman is saying everyone is like waking up <laughs> or um, gaining knowledge. You know, his head is glowing. He has gained some sort of insight or he has been enlightened. And I feel that there could be some insight that you're gaining. Could be about love for some of you. Let's see. With that, three of swords, you have the knight of cups, knight in shining armor. Uh, it could be a person that like really um, takes your breath away here, Libra, someone who kind of like sweeps you off your feet, of course. This can be, you know, the, the Knight of Cups is Knight in Shining Armor. But uh, if you're not looking for love, I would also say with the North Star, you know, again, it's, uh, uh, what I meant to say is with the star, the star can represent your North Star. And we have this uh, Four of Wands star, Knight of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles. This to me says you need like a goal or I kind of feel like you have a dream because the Knight of Cups can represent something that you dream of accomplishing. Could be whatever, to have a business or whatever. And it this basically says use it as your North Star. Like sometimes we just need a why. Why we are doing something or, you know, to make it more important for us. And I feel that'll be very beneficial for you. With the, um, seven, uh, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands. And again, the Seven of Wands says when you believe something very deeply, deep down in your soul and your bones, you will be successful. Uh, it's kind of funny because in the after tarot, the Seven of Wands kind of looks like the Five of Wands. Um, you know, it's like he's the Seven of Wands are card of defending your position at the top of a hill. And I kind of feel like there are things that are kind of keeping you moving. Kind of reminds me of like the turtle and the shark. <laughs> If you've never heard of the turtle and the shark, you know, there are sharks, there are turtles that eat seagrass in, you know, all over the world, basically. And there are sharks that kind of like chase behind them because the sharks, these uh, sharks eat the turtles, right? But the healthy turtles obviously can very easily get away from the sharks. But the whole point is, is that the sharks are pushing the turtles forward and the turtles are always eating new grass. So they don't eat the grass, uh, the seagrass in just one area, right? They don't wipe out an entire area. So it kind of keeps the system going. And for whatever reason, I feel like maybe you're, uh, I'm just going to say, I feel like turtle and a shark here. I feel like you could be feeling some pressures from people, maybe in work or business or career, um, where maybe you feel like the competition is catching up, right? But really, I feel like it's just kind of like pushing you along. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so you don't eat all the grass in one area. With the hangman, you have the ace of pentacles. So uh, definitely a new love offer. You have two aces here, probably after the loss of another one. Uh, sorry, I keep switching on the wrong camera, but... Um, 
you've experienced a loss, new love offer from like a true king of wands is what I feel like saying. Uh, if you're not looking for love, um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles can just be a really big opportunity coming in for you. Uh, next, you have this convention and this innovation card. It's funny because these two things conflict as far as I'm concerned. Convention is the way things are, have always been done. Innovation is doing things differently. So I feel uh, I would embrace the energy of convention, mostly because we're in this age of Aquarius or the time of Aquarius. We have a lot of Aquarian energy coming in. This is Jupiter and Aquarius, this card right here. So I would be trying to you know, innovate. I would be trying new things. I would be learning new things in life. Um, you know, uh, try, just trying different ways to do everything that you're doing. And I, I know I always say this because people are always like, you say the same thing about trying new things. I'm like, yeah, because it's that important <laughs> that we that we do things differently. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the King of Wands here. See, I feel like you could be, I'm wondering if you're focusing too much on a heartbreak for some of you. Obviously, not going to be true for all of you, but for some of you, I feel like somebody left you out in the cold and I feel you could be worrying about it too much. It's like, and if that's you, I'm not calling you out here either, Libra, right? We've all done it. But what I would say is that, you know, I feel like it could be distracting your focus from like a person that you're really meant to be with. I'm wondering if this is a stepping stone soulmate situation. If you're really focused on a past loss, this person could have been a stepping stone soulmate. Stepping stone soulmates usually come into our life and they usually remind us of us. That's how you know it's a stepping stone soulmate. Um, they might, when you meet them at the time that you met them, if you think back, they might have been going through something that you went through in life. Maybe you had money problems like 10 years ago. Maybe when you, maybe you met them three years ago, but maybe three years ago, they had a very similar money issue. It doesn't have to be money. It could be anything, right? But usually a stepping stone soulmate has had a very similar experience or is having a similar experience to one that we had in the past. And, you know, I feel like that's why you feel deep connection with this person, a past person. But again, I wouldn't miss out on this right here. This is like even, way better. <laughs> this King Wands. This King Wands feels way better. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to. I don't attach gender to my cards. I feel you'll just see this person. I mean, I think they're just in this energy, very much like a builder. I feel like they want to build things, put things together. Um, that could be literally, but it could also be the relationship. I also feel like you're in this energy, the King of Wands building entrepreneurial because you have this Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is like cause and effect. It it kind of represents putting work into something, diligent work, and seeing a result in the future. I always say that Eight of Pentacles is my card of material success on the horizon. So I definitely feel there could be some sort of success coming in for you here, Libra. Uh, but let's see what is going on here. With that Eight of Pentacles, you have this Five of Cups. Uh, everybody's had the Five of Cups. <laughs> so... You know, Five of Cups is about crying over wine. You know, he's lost his taste for wine, but he needs to turn around and see these two cups. When he sees the two cups, he sees the bridge and the castle over here. For some of you, again, I feel like someone's still in your energy. I feel like this person is drowning. You can see how he's drowning. But again, we can't save drowning people, not literally. Someone always leaves me a comment that was like, how dare you not save drowning people? I'm like, it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about on this card right here. It's like, we can't save people who can't save themselves. And I kind of feel like some of you have dealt with a past person who can't save themselves. And this is about needing to turn around. It's like, I feel there's a much better opportunity coming in for you. Now with the five of pentacles, you have the devil. Definitely could have been a past toxic person. But again, very deep connection. Look at these two people are embracing. I got to keep it G rated here on YouTube, right? <laughs> so they're embracing. And uh, I feel like there was a very strong connection with the past person. So it could still be in your energy. With the King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, like I said, new person. Page of Pentacles is literally my new person card. If you're not looking for love again, I feel this is like a new opportunity coming in for you. Again, sometimes like in life, I think we have something that is like good enough. Maybe like a job or career or business that's paying us enough money, but maybe it's not enough, but it kind of is. And so we're afraid to let it go for something better. And I feel like this is saying that, um, you know, is good enough good enough? I'd say no. <laughs> I feel like that this reading is saying you you can be more than great, but you have to uh, choose it, right? You have to make the choice. So that's what I would do if I were you. Uh, we're going to pull three cards now. Uh, I'm going to give you time uh, to think of one question. I'm going to put all three cards together, and I'm going to answer it like a personal-ish reading. So feel free to pause the video if you haven't already to think of your question. Uh, you have the King of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Yikes is all I'll say about that because... Uh, again, if you're asking about a person, to me, this is a solid breakup. Um, you know, the king and queen of swords are not talking to each other. 
to me, they are pretty much the worst uh, as far as divine counterparts are concerned. They don't look at each other. They don't talk to each other. Uh, um, you know, they're kind of in conflict and five of swords, definitely a breakup. So I feel like you're clear, you know, this paid queen of swords could be you being clear about a new beginning that you know you need to have. So I would be focusing on the new beginning here if I were you. I feel like that's going to lead to the most success, Libra. So <clears throat> that's what I have for you. But thank you for being here, Libra. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.